Section Gate 1, those orange and blue silks. The first arrow struck with Cesura. He has an odds on shot deposition. Indigo tracked to move forward and they sent on their journey. Sun on Sand got a bump or two out the gates and Voodoo also one off the outside just gets a niggle or two. So Sun on Sand, the riders now press the button after taking a bump or two. Jose Ramsden says let's go on and Sun on Sand improves stride but Winter Wanderer is going to go a little bit quicker. So once again the apprentice is claiming the four kilograms. Winter Wanderer and Jabu Jacobs by a length and a half. Jose Ramsden and Sun on Sand second Indigo Tractors hard held at the rail and Voodoo's making a move around them Warren Kennedy Jer ends a rip back to the reigning got about five lengths to make up on the outside of runner's star system and deposition towards the back of the field is only about five lengths in it Indigo Tractors just a little bit heady in the mid division there so too deposition taken a hold of they're absolutely crawling along Winter Wanderer by a length and a quarter Sun on Sanders second Voodoo raced away third, Indigo Tractor is fourth, Jer. Deposition and star system, there's only four, five lengths in it. Far side of the course they go, with about 1,100 metres left to go. Winter Wanderer, no speed records being set here. Length and a half, sun on sand, head twisted awkwardly second, hard held. Indigo Tractor, Voodoo Warren Kennedy now gives a flick of the whip there, and you'll see Voodoo's now going to get a little bit closer around them. Then we drop back to Deposition, further back in the running, Jer and Star System. Winter Wanderer coming to the 600 metre zone, three lengths to the girl. Sun on Sand second, Voodoo is on the outside, Indigo Tractor, Deposition, the orange and blue silks are just going to look for the gaps to open, Jer Star System, Homeward Bound just on 4.50 to go, Winter Wanderer by two, Sun on Sand back second, Voodoo, Indigo Tractor, Deposition just needs a gap to open towards the inside, Winter Wanderer, Indigo Tractor, their position now comes alive at the 200 meter marker. Raymond Danielson says go. And their position hits the front with 100 to go. And their position, this is bullseye. Wind's going away a length and a half. Indigo tractor, winter wanderer, and then came Jer, voodoo, star system, sun on sand. Well, if you're a Raymond Danielson supporter, you open the card, you see 3-4 Allison Wright, say, Sura, the money came, deposition, just too good on form, and then look to the last race. Once again, the same colours, top of the class, Raymond Danielson, there's money down on top of the class. Could it be a three-timer? Here's the first two, say, Sura and deposition. Indigo Tractor's second, never settled, there was no speed on. Winter Wanderer, Jer Voodoo. Well, deposition, all dressed up, full of running. Look at that gap, just big enough to squeeze through. And Raymond Danielson, hands and heels stuff. Deposition, the rock of Gibraltar. His form was just superior to this lot. Gets one or two reminders close home. And that's just to make sure that he goes right to the winning post. And that's where he belongs today. Number two, deposition, Alison Wright, the Sagulams. Clover Flay stud, 425,000 by Raymond Danielson, back to the studio. All smiles for Alison Wright and well done to Ranjit and Rikia Shugalam with the son of Rock of Travolta. Another horse to come first time uh, out in KZN and make a winning performance. But we mentioned the solid form lines with Vaughan Marshall. And let's get Alison into the office. What a start for these colours. Yeah, awesome. I'm just uh, grateful and uh, thanks again to Rakesh. And uh, like I said, he's not a big horse, and the uh, plan wasn't to sit that far back. But Raymond said when he jumped out, he just felt that he might do too much, so he tucked him in and patient ride. And, and then the gap was, wasn't there, and I thought, oh, he's so small, is he going to get through there? But great ride, well done to Raymond and to the whole team at home. And again, like I say, the horses haven't been well, uh, with us long, so 
you know, they came from Vaughan and, um, yeah, in good condition and we've managed to have the winners. So. It's all about placing them as well, so compliments to yourself and Kevin on that because you found the right race for him. Yeah, exactly. Dees, um, you know, Kevin doesn't uh, sleep without uh, looking at the at the um, program, so it's always in his head of where these horses can run. And yeah, well done to him. You know, we had them in mind when we heard that the horses were going to come up, and um, Rakesh asked that we try and run them. And uh, yeah, it's just worked out. So big thanks to everybody. Well, if you get to speak to Rakesh or Mr. Ranjit Sugalam, give them our best. But what a day it's turning out uh, for you thus far. Brilliant. Yeah, thanks, Dees. And uh, thanks to Hollywood uh, Bates, our sponsors. Thanks. Nice one, Alison Wright. And uh, Raymond Danielson, will we give him some time? Uh, he may be coming back. He's, he's ridden a double here. And uh, he's got a double for Alison Wright in the same colors of Sugulim. Yeah, the Stingray is back. Raymond, nice one because it's a small field and things can get tricky with regards to pace and where you find yourself. But you just left him where he was comfortable. Yeah, you know what? Uh, I was drawn one, so I came out with a plan of um, sitting second or third and the way he came out, if I had to let him go, I don't think I would have been able to get him as relaxed as I did, um, putting him a horse or two back. And yeah, once he switched off, obviously he's, he's used to Cape Town, so when they go slow, they, he looks like he quickens well. And when I came to the straight, obviously it was the right horse in the field on paper and on form and everything. So I'm just glad when I asked him to quicken, he took a very tight gap and it was race over. Talking about that tight gap, did, no issues. I mean. You seems to urge him along through there, and he seemed to go through effortlessly. Yeah, you know what, once I gathered my reins top of the straight, um, he started giving it to me, and I didn't want to break that momentum I was building, so I had to go for the gap. Obviously, Don, Donovan was riding his race and, and kept the gap closed, so I had to get in there. Thanks goodness I had horse, so. But he just unwinded and quickened all the way to the line. Um, obviously, it wasn't as strong as it feels, but I think this horse won't stop you. I think he's going to win a few more. I really, you know, when we finished our last interview, I actually thought about it. You spoke about, you know, getting chances and building your confidence because there's no shortage of ability when it comes to your riding ability, that is, because I'll give you 10 out of 10 for that. But Alison has thrown you a really nice confidence booster here in KZN. Yeah, especially like I came back and I was, I was making a joke and saying these are uh, push button horses, you know. You just sit still and, and push a button and there they go and they win. So big thank you to them, obviously, a nice way to start and hopefully we can grow from strength to strength. Well, it's turning out to be a good weekend for you. Well done, Raymond. Yeah, and also, well done to owner, my second winner for him now. And uh, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing his, his surname right. Uh, just, try it, try it, try it. This is Sugulam. Yeah, Sugulam. Sugulam. Yes, thank you very much, sir. Um, hope there's many more. Well done. Thank you. Okay, Danielson and Wright team up here in the first leg of the pick six. If you caught the pick six, uh, if you caught the quartet, should I say, pick six. Are we going to catch it up to just one leg? You need six legs to get it right. Two, one, four, and five is the way they cross the line here, race number three. Up next is the start of our last exotic, which will be the jackpot, 14, 15, quarter past two.